Blackburn Borough's new man in charge, Lee Bradbury, has been busy putting his squad together since his arrival at the start of the month. That includes new contracts for some key players, as well as bringing back some old faces such as Elliot Romain and new faces with Nick Wheeler. And this week a crucial role was filled when Sean Gow agreed to join the sports as Lee's number two. Kevin Anderson met with Sean to find out more about him and his view of the season ahead. Well, Sean Gale, welcome to the club. Thank you very much. And uh, it's uh, you're a familiar face, I'm sure, to lots of our supporters because uh, you've spent the last how many years is it at Haven? Yeah, 19 years. Um, long, long time. First went back there as a player when I finished my pro career and sort of went there, um, played for a couple of years and sort of. I worked at Portsmouth Football Club in the academy and then I sort of fell into the role as a assistant manager to originally Dave Leeworthy and. Um, and then the, sort of the rest is history. I've been the assistant manager. I've been the manager for a period of time. And obviously I was Lee's assistant uh, up until recently for the last seven years. Absolutely. So in truth, it, it, it's been a bit of a wrench. Yeah, it was a difficult decision. It wasn't a decision I made lightly. Um, you know, but I think, you know, and I, I know the manager really well and the assistant manager there. And uh, yeah. they obviously wanted me nice. to stay. But I just felt that if there was a time to leave, it was a good time to leave now. I've worked with Lee before. Um, Obviously, you know, we work well together. We've had uh, some decent success and uh, I was excited by the opportunity. So, I, you know, I just mm -hmm. felt that, you know, to allow Paul and his team to, to crack on at Haven and have a fresh start, you know, majority of people had left. Uh, and I felt, you know, that was time for me to, uh, to move on as well. But mm -hmm. it was a wrench, as I say. I didn't make that decision lightly, but, um, you know, life goes on. And, mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm at Eastbourne looking forward to it. Before we leave the Hawks, though, You've got to tell us about Anfield. 2007-2008? Yeah, <clears throat> it was unbelievable really. It was, um, I think things are set in stone, they're in the stars or whatever you know you want to call it. We, you know, that cut run was just meant to be, you know, and um, it was fantastic from the, from the first game right away to obviously to Anfield, which was just unbelievable really. And there are some, some uh, sort of captured pics of a scoreboard that actually at one point says Liverpool 1, Haventon Waterlooville 2. <laughs> yeah, we were like 30 seconds away from going in at half time, 2-1 um, up. Uh, and that would have been nice. And, um, you know, it wasn't to be. Uh, you know, there are some quality players playing on the day. But, the, you know, the day for the football club and, and for everyone at the club, you know, the chairman who's been there 35 years, it was payback for him. You know, things like that, um, you know, they don't happen every week, as you know. We'd be very glad if you could uh, do something similar here. Yeah, we'd love to. You know, uh, cut runs are fantastic for fans, for everyone at the football yeah, club. True. Obviously, they generate a decent income, yes, uh, which helps. You know, football clubs are expensive to run, as we all know. So, um, yeah, it'd be fantastic if we do something along them lines. Now, yourself and Lee Bradbury, um, lots of football partnerships out there. I mean, you're not quite Saint and Greavesy. I don't know what you <laughs> we are exactly, but um, you two know each other inside out, work together well. Yeah, very well. Yeah, no, we, you know, we trust each other, you know, we trust each other's judgment, you know, um, we bounce off each other really well. Um, sometimes you have to have the good cop, bad cop, yes. you know, we, we have all them things uh, in abundance. And yeah, no, as I say, we, we've enjoyed working together, you know, we have a great working relationship. It was, obviously, we socialise away from the club as well, so, you know, that does help. Because the last thing a manager really wants is a number two who just puts the cones out, if you like, and, and then says, yes, I agree with you, Gaffer. Yeah, no, definitely. He knows that. He knows that I will, you know, I'll give my opinion. Ultimately, you know, he's the manager and if he decides that he wants to go a different way or a different player or whoever it might be, you know, that's down to him. But, you know, he'll get my honest opinion. We don't always agree. We won't fall out over it, but, you know, I'll always give him an honest opinion. And um, I think that's best. You need to have, and, you know, we look at things differently. Um, he's a different character to I am. Um, which is, you know, I think probably why it works so well. We're talking at the very end of May and uh, the gaffer's already putting an interesting squad together. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's difficult building um, squads when you come in new to a club. Um, we've got some good potential signings and hopefully we can get them across the line. You know, there's a lot of people out there spending big money and it's, you know, you're competing with some, some big hitters in this league, but that, that doesn't mean anything. You know, this is a good football club and, um, you know, we'll build a good squad. And hopefully, you know, the fans can be patient. I know fans want to see more signings, but they have to be the right people oh, yes. for us yeah. uh, and the football club. You know, not just for the immediate, but for the future as well. And uh, 
once we get started in ridiculously early actually isn't it August yeah, the, the is, first match yeah, once we get started August hitting is. the ground running yeah we'll try and hit the ground running I mean going back to my management and assistant managing days that haven't uh, earlier when Ian Baird was a manager and then when I was managing myself we played against obviously Gary Wilson's teams yes yeah. uh, I always just say this was a difficult place to come really difficult place and you had to do something very special to get a result here we need to get that back here and that's nothing against any previous managers but we need to have a squad that every time they turn up here or away from home they're competing they make life difficult for the opposition and also we need to make this place a fortress it's our home ground you know obviously the new 3G pitch that's been in for a couple of seasons we need you know to make sure that we take the advantage of that and teams come here and don't like coming here mm. um, and if we can get that and we can obviously you know get more people in the ground and get the fans right behind the team and of course they want to see a winning team and um, you know things will be progressing in the right way but it'd be nice we need to hit the ground running definitely you can't wait to get started can you no i'm excited by it i'm excited it's a new challenge that's it you know it's, it's it's a long time i've had a fantastic time at haven't and uh, the club's fantastic the people behind the scenes and the chairman there there's some great people there but you know i've obviously moved on and um eastbourne borough is my team now uh i'm here with lee to try and achieve something Great stuff. Thanks very much indeed, Sean. Thank and you. we'll be talking again. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you.